guys welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so yes just had a mad dash to get upstairs to try and get my filming chair before the cat jumps on it <laughs> no I doubt I'll probably join us in a minute so for today's video I thought I would do a flip through of this brand new book by the Belba family now the Belba family very kindly sent me this book for a review so thank you so much so this is three colour series and this is the travel one they do have two others out of the same series they have my mind's gone blank celebrities and also animals <laughs> my mind went blank for a minute so it's stress-free colour by number book with three millimetre sections and on the back of the book it gives you some samples of some of the pictures in the book that how you can colour them because the idea of this book is you just get a set of colours which goes from one to three and you can either use their suggested colour palette starting from the lightest colour to the medium and then to the dark or you can use your own palette you don't have to use their palette so we'll have a look so the f <laughs> i told you it was going to be here didn't i <laughs> so let me just bring you over a little bit so you get the whole book in view so the first thing i noticed about this book when i opened it up at this page belongs to was these stamps here i really like these we've got uh immigration arrived 12th of june australia stamp you've got the departed canada uh arrive visit pass you've got passport control arrival hong kong and also United States Customs. So I like how they've put these in there. So on the next page, it gives you an information page on how you can colour in this book. Uh, it says free colours series. Meet the third stress-free colour by number book from the free colour series where you need to use just three colours. So in this particular book, there are 25 amazing sightseeing from <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> oh gosh Leo Leo, I'm just doing a flip through. You don't mind here <laughs> oh, Leo. Doing a flip through. Come on. Come on. Do you want the chair? Is that what you want? Come on then. Sorry about this, guys. Come on then. Here's your chair. Here's your chair. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to have to try and coax him off the page. Sorry about that guys, I knew this was coming, I've just got more or less turfed out my filming chair again. Leo is now on the chair. And the little sausage has just jumped off, he's just trying to get me out my chair. Sorry about that, as I was saying, yeah. You should follow the simple rule where one is a light colour, two is the medium colour and three is the dark so i will read you this bit so for example you can choose three colors from the red shades palette set where number one light is pink two middle is scarlet three is dark red for your convenience the seven most widespread variants of palette sets are placed on the back cover as i previously showed you or you can create your own free color palette set from the following rule above Choose the most comfortable way of colouring, the typical way block colouring, the X method, the dots method or mixed. It is very relaxing with fantastic very detailed results. Happy colouring. So with these books, yeah, I have used a varied um, amount of methods in here. For some reason, I do like the block method in here, but I do do the cross stitch. So on the next page you've got try your palette so it just gives you a suggestion of what palettes you can use. You don't have to go by like the colours but 
just gives you a bit of an idea so the next pages are the contents pages it shows you each which places are around the world i'm not going to read all of that but and then it goes straight into the pictures so on the left hand side of the page you get the name of where that place is some people might prefer a surprise where they don't do that but to be fair with so many images you can tell what they're going to be so this one is the statue of liberty and you can turn it around that way and on the side here it gives you an idea the rule light medium dark and then your set of colors that you want to choose so i have done a picture in here with which we will go by you've got the eiffel tower now if you don't want to know what places are in this book then i probably would suggest switching off but the video site will have a look the mo uh, moe moe is that it the tower of pisa the leaning tower of pisa the statue of the bear and the strawberry tree I ain't got a clue which one that is. The Burj Al Arab. I've probably completely butchered that name. I do apologise. The Motherland Calls. So a few of these I've not even heard of. Notre Dame de Paris. The Little Mermaid. <laughs> so with these books as well, it, some of the pictures they do have a white space. So the, it's quite good actually. Now the book, book, the picture I did, I didn't fill in the space with something because I didn't really have it. But what you could do for these spaces here is you could use like um, maybe distressed inks or pastel chalks to give it your own effect. Or like I've done in the past, I've coloured the background completely in black, which makes the main picture pop. So we've got Petra. The African Renaissance Monument. That's nice. Now this one's quite a full one. This is the Mount Rushmore National Memorial. And this is the one I did. This is the Tower Bridge. And I didn't fill in the background. I do feel like in this one it's good. I like it. But I feel like it's missing something in the, the background. So yeah. What I chose for this is I chose a set of blue colours. I started with a light blue. Then a medium blue. And then I chose a really dark blue to do this one. So that is one that I did in here. You've got the Taj, the Taj Mahal. With this one, what you could do is you could do all the black in the background in like a gold, like a gold sheen metallic. Or for the main bit, you could use like yellows, golds, like a tan gold or bronze. And you could do the background in black to make the main picture pop. You've got the Giza Pyramid Complex and the Great Sphinx of Giza. The Colosseum, Rowan. I like that one. That would be good in black in the background. You, you wouldn't have to really use black, to be honest. You could use any colour that you wanted. M Mashu Pishu. Oh, I do apologise, I've probably not said that right. The Trojan Horse, the Temple of Haven, I think Haven, the Sydney Opera House, Gal Vihari, the Stone Shrine. I hope you can see these pictures properly. Obviously, the pic the pictures themselves are a little bit more difficult for you to be able to see because obviously they're just in pixels at the minute or or uh, the protected cruiser christ the redeemer Go 
Guanyin statue with eight hands. The Great Wall of China. So it's got some really good places in here. And that is it. So at the back of the book, like all their other books, you get the We Are the Belber Family. Thank you for your choice. All books are made with love for people and nature. We appreciate your feedback with a small review of the book on Amazon, Facebook or Instagram. If you tag your coloured pages as hashtag Belba Family, we share your work on our social media pages. You help us to make our books better. Stay safe and happy colouring. So yeah, um, every picture that you do do with the Belba Family, if you do hashtag it Belba Family, they repost it on their page. So I think that's a nice thing for them to do. You've got how you can follow them either on Facebook, to, um, Instagram or Twitter. And also at the bottom of the box, it also gives you their uh, web pages for the Belba Family Shop. So it's definitely worth checking out. And at the back of the book, it just gives you the Try the Other Book series by the Belba Family, like the Mosaic Arts. Colour by number and colour inversion books, puzzle colour by number, stone mosaics, which are my favourite, and free colour series and mystery mosaics. So, yeah, they do have a lot of choice, and that is it. So, that is the back page. On these pages, you could always use them to test your different pens or fine liners or whatever you want to use on that. So, guys. That is the flip through of Free Colour Series Travel by the Belba family. So I just want to say again, thank you uh, greatly to the Belba family for very kindly sending me this book for review. I really do appreciate it. Um, absolutely, I do love their books. So I'm going to get going now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, even with the crude interruption by the cat saying, I'm here. It was just letting you know he's here, guys. Yeah, he's gone back downstairs now. Or is at the bottom of the bed. I can't see his feet or his tail. Sometimes he lies at the bottom of the bed when I'm sitting on there. He's probably gone downstairs now. Just wanted to say hello. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Thank you to all my subscribers and everyone that's joining me on this YouTube journey. So um, I'm going to get going now and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now, guys. Bye.